Zoom is a titan of the video conferencing space, especially over the last year or so as more people have been working remotely and Zoom's free option has let businesses set up external and internal meetings really easily. In the last few months though, a lot of businesses have been trying an alternative that comes from the gaming space. Discord was initially built for gamers and people building online communities, but offers voice chat and text chat for large amounts of users completely for free. It's a very generous free package, which is why a lot of businesses have been considering it. Is it right for your business though? Let's look at both the options and compare. Zoom and Discord both offer video conferencing, but their ideal use cases are a little different. Zoom is a dedicated video conferencing tool, so it offers high quality video at every price point. It can support video from a large amount of users at once, which makes it a great choice for large conferences or webinars. Zoom also offers integrations with calendar applications and email software, which makes it easy to send meeting invitations to individuals outside your organization who can join a meeting with a single click. In this way, Zoom makes external meetings very easy for everyone involved. Zoom also offers call recording features in all of its premium price points, while Discord users have to use third-party tools in order to record their meetings. With all that in mind, Zoom is a great tool for webinars and meetings with people outside your organization. In contrast, Discord offers strong collaboration and organization features. In addition to video conferencing, Discord users also have access to text communication in the form of group messages, private messages, or in large text channels that any member of the organization can access. Additionally, while Discord only supports video for up to nine users at once, it can host up to 5,000 voice participants, even in its free plan. While it may sound like that would get hectic quickly, account administrators or moderators can easily mute people or remove them from a call. And features like Priority Speaker ensure a meeting's host can always be heard no matter how many people are talking. Discord also offers easy file sharing, though the file sizes are limited in the free version. All in all, Zoom is best used for businesses that need to meet with individuals outside their organization frequently, as its integrations with calendar applications makes it easy to get someone from outside your organization into a meeting. Discord is a little more complex, requiring meeting hosts to generate a temporary invitation to their server and sending it to meeting participants manually. That said, Discord is ideal for internal collaboration and may even be a stronger webinar tool for free users. Discord can host more users for free and includes features like chat and private messaging as well. Discord is also excellent for drop-in, drop-out style meetings as server members can join or leave a video or voice call with a single click once they have access to the organization's Discord server. When it comes to video quality, Zoom and Discord both require an upgrade to a paid plan to get access to HD video, with Discord offering it at a slightly cheaper rate of $5 per month compared to Zoom's lowest $15 per month price point. That being said, when they're both running at the same definition, users have noted a few more issues with Discord's video offering. Discord requires a good connection and a good camera for high quality video, and while this is also true to an extent of Zoom, Zoom offers some features like automatic video touch-ups to help ensure everyone's video is as smooth as possible. Both tools are comparable on audio, but Zoom gets a slight edge when it comes to video quality. The difference isn't huge, but if video quality is a key differentiator for your business when it comes to picking a video tool, then it is important to note that you can expect slightly better video performance out of Zoom. For businesses where video quality isn't the most important factor, the video quality difference might be considered negligible. Arguably the main appeal of both Zoom and Discord is their generous free versions. Some businesses have been using Zoom completely for free, while online communities of thousands of people have been leveraging Discord at no charge. This raises the question, for businesses, which free version offers the most valuable features? Zoom offers unlimited one-on-one -on -one video calls with unlimited duration. This feature, plus Zoom's high-quality video, makes Zoom a perfect tool if your primary need is one-on-one -on -one calls. In that use case, the free version is almost good as most premium video tools. That said, the free version does have some limitations. The biggest one is that group calls can only be held for 40 minutes using Zoom's free version. This makes free Zoom unsuitable for webinars or larger conferences unless they are very brief. Zoom's free version also only supports up to 100 people, adding another limitation to large meetings and webinars. Discord's free version is very generous compared to other video tools. Free Discord voice chats can hold up to 5,000 users with up to 9 using video. This makes Discord highly usable as a free webinar tool, training tool, or educational tool. 
few other conferencing tools can hold that many users at no charge. Discord also includes all of its chat features and file sharing features in the free version, though the free version does have a 5 megabyte limit on file uploads. Discord is almost feature complete in its free package, with very few features being added in the paid version. Both Discord and Zoom, though, only offer standard definition in their free versions. With these factors in mind, Zoom's free version is a great choice for businesses that mainly need support for one-on-one -on -one meetings, but Discord offers the stronger free feature set for larger meetings and includes additional collaboration features. Very few video tools give as many features in their free option as Discord does. While Zoom and Discord are both well known for their free versions, they do also offer premium paid options that can make them more appropriate for larger businesses or businesses with specific feature needs that aren't included in the free versions. Zoom offers four additional pricing tiers starting as low as $15 per month. This creates a variety of options for businesses with different needs. All paid Zoom licenses include HD video and meeting recording. Meeting recording is a particularly valuable feature for archiving important meetings so they can be reviewed or shared later. Higher pricing tiers for Zoom include features like customized call branding, automatic transcripts of your meetings, and increased call capacity, up to a thousand in the most expensive package. Discord only offers one premium plan for $5 a month, and the only video feature it includes is HD video. The premium plan's primary purpose is for people to choose to support Discord's development, as almost all of Discord's features are included in the free version. When it comes to enterprise features, Zoom offers more advanced features in their premium packages. Features like meeting transcriptions, automatic recordings, and custom branding can all be important to a business that conducts a large volume of meetings. If you need enterprise-level features like these, Zoom is the way to go. It is worth noting for the biggest webinar hosts, though, that even Zoom's most expensive plan holds 4,000 less people than Discord can in its free version. For businesses that are holding less than 1,000 people, though, you don't need to worry about this. So we've gone over the features and packages for Zoom and Discord, but which one should you be using for your business? Discord offers one of the most generous free versions of any video tool. If you need a free video tool and want to support calls that are larger than one-on-one, -on -one, Discord's the way to go. Its free version is feature complete, and you can support enough people for internal meetings, conferences, or even huge webinars. You should also go with Discord if you're looking for collaboration tools like text chat and file sharing in addition to your voice chatting tool. Zoom is better than Discord if you don't need the collaboration features, primarily take one-on-one -on -one calls, or require advanced features for video like built-in recording and storage. Zoom is a dedicated video tool and an excellent choice for businesses that need high-quality video, but businesses in need of those features will need to be okay with paying a monthly subscription that's significantly more expensive compared to Discord's feature-rich free option. It's important to remember, though, that you can use both. Discord is great for internal communication and meetings, while Zoom excels at external communication with features like automatic invites and calendar integrations. If you want Zoom's dedicated video features but also need a collaboration tool, don't be afraid to add both Zoom and Discord to your infrastructure. If you're just looking for the best free tool you can get though, you'd be remiss not to consider Discord when you're looking at your options. If you still aren't sure about Zoom or Discord, consider checking out some verified reviews of either product on TrustRadius.com. All reviews on Trust Radius come from real users of the products in different industries and with different backgrounds and experiences, so you can find a review that best matches your business's needs. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it, consider hitting the subscribe button to make sure that you never miss an upload.